Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. Um, hold on just a second here. I got to take care of something here. Um, anyway, let me um, go over something here with the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, yesterday, uh, we had a higher high today than yesterday. The high today was 39,236. If you were to measure the 61% retracement of the whole move from the high down to the low, up to the high, that number came in at 39,232. So it went uh, four points higher in the index. Now, what I'd like to do is show you how there's a discrepancy between these futures and the actual cash index itself. That's the real problem. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come up here and we're going to first take a look here at the Dow Jones with the, this is the daily of the, uh, the, the June futures that we still that we're still looking at here. Okay, now the June futures have only made a 50% retracement, and it's done it one, two, three, four, five times. Also today, okay. Now that's going off the board pretty soon. I think today might be going off the board. So let's let's not look at that one, but let's take a look now at the June future, uh, the September, which is the lead. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come up and put this up here. And you'll see here with the with the uh, <clears throat> with the September futures, we've actually gone way above the 70 uh, 61 percent retracement. What it means is you're paying a huge premium for if you're doing the futures here because the the actual cash market is way down here. So you're you're paying a huge uh, free, premium for that. But there's the ABCD in the uh, well, it's actually awful up a little bit. Let me draw it correctly because it's off by just a little bit. So it means you're paying a big premium. So that's these are some of the things you've got to think about when you're looking at some of these things. So anyway, okay, <clears throat> then what we'll do, we're going to look at the uh, uh, S&P, and we're also going to look at the um, NASDAQ and also the E-mini S&P futures because we are at a real critical time, folks, in my opinion, and Mr. Dornwinski will be on explaining to us why. We'll be right back. 